We have to get to some breaking news here in Portsmouth. Court documents are shedding light on how a three year old boy died from a gunshot wound earlier this week. Alex Littlehales is live at the courthouse right now. Alex, you just got a hold of these documents. What are you learning in this? Yeah, Bethany, well, these new documents reveal more about what happened inside that home or what police say people said about what happened inside that home the day a three year old died from a gunshot wound. So there, the big takeaway is that there seem to be, at least in these court records, conflicting reports about what actually happened at that time. So the documents say the father of a three year old heard a gunshot when he was in the bathroom of his own home, but before the shooting that there were other people inside that property and he actually came out of the bathroom to check on his son after he heard that gunshot. So he found the three year old shot and one of the people who he claims was previously in that house no longer at the property. So according to these records, police say they contacted that man who the father identified and that person said that they were not at that property before the shooting either. So again, it's noted in here that there are conflicting reports that police are going to have to now search through cell data, through text and call data to find out what exactly happened. But another key takeaway is that they say the gun was left loaded and unattended with a disregard for human life. Again, still searching uh, through these documents, but again, Big takeaway, conflicting accounts of what actually happened the day a three-year-old died from that gunshot wound here in Portsmouth on Ash Street. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Alex, thank you. And as he sifts through those documents, he'll bring us another update at 4 this afternoon. And in just a couple of hours, police will hold another reset walk in the wake of that three-year-old's death. It starts at 3.30 on Ash Street. Officers will go door-to-door -door talking with residents about what happened and what can be done to keep people safe.